sort of when you were exploring your sadness over the last um, moments, yep. you you said that you have some more to, <coughs> to experience and that you haven't got to the bottom and all there's more to it. So using the example of the lady who talked about her annoyance and mm -hmm. if she actually gets to the bottom of that then she might get a passport the next day. Yep. How does how does someone know then that they've actually dealt with that or that there's more connected to it? Trust. Yeah. Okay. Same way. So to the same to the same deep emotion, or it could be just another one attached to it. Well, it doesn't really matter if you're feeling all of your emotions. You're going to feel what what is coming up the next time, the next time, the next time, the next time. You're not going to be selective. Look at what a child does. In the first century, it said very clearly. Unless you become like a little child, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. What does a child do? Experiences, experiences everything there and then. Don't they? Unless they get stopped. Unless they get shut down. Yeah. And this is how you will become. You will experience everything as soon as it occurs. Do you want to do that? Yes. <laughs> lots of you don't yes. want to do that. <laughs> well, lots of you believe that is, at this moment that that's dangerous. That's I'm afraid of that. What's going to happen? What's that going to look like? What? How much of a mess is my life going to be if I do that? Right? And these are all of the fears that you have that are coming up, saying, oh, no, "I can't do that." Like some of you even feel a sense of panic. What is he telling me? <laughs> so these these feelings of panic, of blocking. Really what is blocked is, is the mind, yes? The mind is blocked. The mind, the mind through... Well, what's actually coming up is there's an emotion coming up that I don't want to feel. And, and if one of the emotions coming up is, I don't want to feel, then the mind's going to say, oh, okay, I'll help you not feel. <laughs> this, this seems to be like the person picture or scenario of the majority of people mm -hmm. who live, uh, say, in Nordic countries like Scandinavia, Britain, um, you know, America. Um, the people, say, who live in Eastern Europe, not the majority, not everyone, but uh, say Cuba or Brazil, they seem to be s somehow suffering or experiencing the exact opposite, like emotions are bubbling up all the time and there's like maybe even more chaos in their lives than there is in the person who seems to block the emotion before it gets too scary. So could, would you say that in the end <coughs> what you need is to be aware of your emotions, of, of what is actually happening? Because otherwise you will end, in, end up with chaos? The only time you end up with chaos is if you don't allow yourself to feel the causal emotion to completion. That's when you end up with chaos. Because chaos is the projection of emotion onto everyone and everything around you. That only happens when you avoid. I do agree that many of the countries you mentioned, like Cuba and South America and so forth, are more passionate. They allow more passion. And that it actually makes it easier for them to access underlying emotion. However, where it goes wrong is when they don't allow themselves to actually take full responsibility for those emotions and they blame others for them. So they're being tossed around by false emotions maybe without being able to go to the core because they're not aware. Yeah, so, so let's say one of them feels annoyed. He'll come up you right into your face and he will tell you right there and then I'm annoyed with you, right? Now, a man in Britain says he's annoyed and what does he do? Drink. <laughs> You know, he sits down and just... You know, like, I spent a bit of time in the subway last trip there. It was quite interesting. <laughs> Have you ever been on the subway in England? Like in London? Yeah, isn't that an interesting experience? I was quite amazed by it, actually. Would you say that um, the emotions are the that that process is also important, that you kind of sort of just feel, you also need to be aware of the feeling? No, what I'm saying is you need to feel everything. You need to feel everything and love feeling everything. However, when they are capping based emotions like anger, fear, doubt, and lots of other types of emotions like that, jealousy, neediness, and all those kind of capping emotions, you need to understand that all of those are doing are covering over the real things. 
So real feelings are aware by themselves. The real feelings are there, and you're just avoiding them by being in this state. Right? So, so a man who's in South America screaming and yelling at you, he's passionate, which is great, but he's avoiding his underlying emotions still. The man who's sitting on the subway stewing in England, not feeling anything, right, is still avoiding them. He's shutting himself down with detunement, with numbness, but he's still avoiding the underlying emotions he feels. The key is to get to the underlying emotion, to experience that. When you experience that, all of those capping ones don't occur. None of them occur. Mm. 